Good morning, Yogi Clan. Welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. We are here today to do product review Thursday. I hope you're all doing wonderful on this Thursday. We are two days out from the orphan run. The weather, man, I hate the weather, man. Let's just say it. I hate the weather, man. You know, one day it's, oh, it's 40% chance of rain on Saturday. The next day, oh, it's zero. Then 40%. What is it, man? What's it going to do? It's just kind of frustrating. Frustrating. Well, man, I think it's going to be beautiful. You know, last weekend, of course, last weekend is like, you know, 75 and sunny and beautiful. Today, I mean, look, it's sunny. It's beautiful. Friday is like 100% chance of rain. So everybody that's coming in from out of town, bring your rain gear. You're going to get wet. But I'm hoping that comes and goes out on Friday and Saturday. It's a beautiful day. We got our bike blessing coming, then the orphan run coming. But that's not why we're here today. We are here today for product review Thursday. So if you want to look styling in a sweet half helmet for the orphan run, stay tuned and we'll talk about it. All right, so what do we got planned? We got planned for a half helmet. Let me start off by saying this was my first half helmet. This is not the half, oh, this is not the half helmet we're gonna review. This was Yogi's first half helmet bought in 2003. So we're gonna start off with this as our baseline and then move on to the helmet that's featured for today in the product review Thursday. This was a Fulmer, is a Fulmer. It does have three snaps on the front because it originally came with a visor. That caught wind and was First thing to go. It is traditional half helmet. It is DOT. So it's got you know, an inch thick padding on the inside. This is size extra large. It does have this webbing on the side, which is getting a little, a little dry, <laughs> a little cracked. Like I said, I bought this in 2003. So uh, in August, it'll be 16 years old. It is a D clip construction. So when you put this bad boy on, here like that go through the two well, most y'all know how to put a helmet on I just go through there bring it up and just tuck it in there like that so that's the size of that helmet to give you a comparison there you go profile view front view doesn't it look great so there we go that's a Fulmer a Fulmer half helmet like I said I've worn this helmet for almost 16 years now and it's it's pretty beat up it's taking a bump out of my way i gotta pee that's done it's done a really good job most of these stickers are worn off wearing out it used to be schizophrenic that's all right we're okay now <laughs> so this one's done really well I'm really happy with this. It, this helmet probably has, let's see, so I bought it in 2003 or I bought the Fat Boy. The Fat Boy has 100,000 miles on it and most every single one of those miles were in this helmet. And the Ultra has, as I bought it with 17.8 and it now has like 60 some on it. So let's just call that 40,000 miles. I probably rode probably at least 20 on that bike with this helmet. So that's 120,000 miles on this helmet, give or take. So it's definitely seen better day. I mean, the, the strap, so yeah, it's dry rotting here. But if you look around on this side, dude, that's still like brand new, still fresh. The little rubber band that holds the strap, which I never use, because I just tuck it up and over. It's, that still hasn't broken, so I figured that would dry rot first. The only thing that really dry rot is this on the outside, but the integrity of the strap itself is still pretty good. So. There's your Fulmer helmet. I bought this at the Harley dealer. I think it was like 60 bucks. I didn't want to pay the $100 Harley dealer helmet price. So they had this Fulmer for like 60 there. You can probably get it, still get it online cheaper. I think they still make that Fulmer. But it is size extra large. So the feature product today is this. Crazy Owl's World's Lightest DOT. Now this helmet is not new. As you can see, this helmet has some miles on it too. I actually bought this used off of Buddy. He had it. it. It was a little bit beat up. I don't, know. He, I don't know if he was beating the wall with it or what. I don't care. <laughs> but this one came from him. I did buy it used off of him. It also DOT. You can see thickness. Let's kind of compare the thickness on inside the helmet. 
they're both fairly comparable on the inside. So what makes this smaller? If you compare the two together, they're both fairly similar, but this one is smaller. It is a little smaller. The shell is a little smaller, so let's, and also notice that the webbing on this is just a strap. It doesn't have that, doesn't have that fabric that that has. So the webbing is skinnier, the webbing is thinner. This one has the little fabric on the inside. This one does not, it is just pure strap. It is not a D-ring. This has a, a quick release. Quick release buckle, take the buckle, put it in, click it in. When you wanna take it off, you grab this little pull tie, you pull straight out, which opens that clip like that. And when you open it, you can just pull it straight out. So it locks in. It's got two little teefies. I don't know if you can see it. It's got little teefies on the inside there that lock into those teeth there. There are two teeth, two teeth on this top thing. It slides out. There you go. Now, let's try on this helmet. This helmet, as you can see, definitely much smaller. In case you forgot what I looked like before. That off. That one sits sits lower. The, other, the this one sits more like that. This one sits a little bit lower. This one also is in extra large. So I don't know. Maybe it fits my head good. Maybe a two X would fit a little lower. You just take it just simple as that. Put the strap on so it, i mean it fits really well i don't use this a whole lot probably when it gets summer and it gets hot out i'll use it more but it doesn't it doesn't give you if you look the mushroom head isn't quite as shroomy <laughs> when you're looking at this helmet take that off in comparison mushroom head a little bit a little bit more with this yeah i'd say that's more of a mushroom this one not quite so shroomy. Easy to get on, easy to get off. It's a good helmet. Definitely, uh, definitely a summertime helmet. I, I know people that that rock it year round. You know, they'll put a face mask on underneath it or whatever, and, and like. But you're not going to fit like a, a beanie on your head to keep your head warm, and then put this on. It's, it, it would be too tight. Likewise, with that helmet, the other helmet, I can take my if I have a baseball hat on and turn it around backwards like that and then put the helmet on. I can't really do it with this, there's not enough room. The other thing I hate about doing that is I man, if you have those baseball bats or caps with the buttons on the top, that, oh man, that kills my head whenever I do that. Cause I kind of like to strap my helmets down tight, you know? This one, you can adjust the strap, the length of it by adjusting this buckle up and down to shorten or lengthen this so you can adjust your strap. Uh, it does have five clicks, I think, on here. Four clicks, maybe. I like to get it seated as far down as possible that way. For some reason, maybe if one click pops. I don't, I don't, I don't want to put this on my head and be like, one click. There you go. Because then there's only one tooth holding your helmet on. You should be at least two clicks in. Well, there's actually six clicks. <laughs> I'd like to be at least two clicks in. That way I know two teeth are at least holding that helmet. Because, man, Crazy Owl's helmet is 100 bucks. I don't want that one click to pop off the helmet go and be gone. So it's a good helmet. I like it. I like it. I just, you know, with, with what's going on in life lately and everything else, I've been honestly wearing the full face helmet more. When I go on long distance trips, I've been wearing the full face helmet more. Uh, why? A, a, yeah, safety, A. But B, seen a Bluetooth. So when I'm going on long distance trips, you know, I like having conversation with some guys sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like just music or sometimes I just like peace and quiet. So it all depends. But it just seems like lately I've been wearing a full face helmet a whole lot more than I've been wearing a half. I've been wearing a half pretty much for the past, until I got, until I got the Cena. So for the past uh, 15 years, 14 years, it's it's really it's been this hat this so past 13 it's been this past one it's been this 
It's a good helmet. Is it worth a hundred bucks? Meh. It's better than a skid lid. Yeah, you know, it's much better than a skid lid, but it's not like it's not like a ton better than a skid lid. Yeah, it says DOT, but let's let's think about that for a second. If you get into an accident with this helmet and a skid lid, there are, the skid lid will crack and break apart certainly much faster than this will. This will probably stay together much better. But really, you're, when you're thinking about accident, if you get into an accident, it's only protecting this part of your head. All this down here is really not protected. And if you're going to face plant on the concrete, face plant in the asphalt, and, and you hit like this, 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 and this is all still very exposed. This is not, uh, even back ahead here, still very exposed because it's wide open. So really, this versus a skid lid in protection for an accident, certainly it'll do a little bit better than a skid lid, but I wouldn't say, hey, this half helmet saved my life for, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's probably a little bit, and, and even really this helmet, because it, it's not much bigger than that helmet. So, honestly, how much better are those two helmets than just wearing a ball cap <laughs> or a skid lid? Not really a whole lot, but that one's DOT certified, so you're compliant. Is it worth $100? That's, eh, maybe. Your call. Would I buy it again? No, probably about used, not new. I would look for a used one like I like how I got that one. Because <laughs> I'm not paying a hundred bucks for it. But 50, 60 bucks, sure. That works. If it's time to replace a helmet because it's got 15 years on the other one, 100,000 miles on the other one. Yeah, and I'm going to replace a half helmet. Because, you know, when you go down to the beach, when you ride down to the beach, sure, I'm going to wear my full face going down there. But when I get down there, I don't want to ride around with a full face. That skid lid or not skid lid. Crazy Owl's half helmet, perfect option. The Fulmer half helmet, perfect option. But I like the Crazy Owl's better because it does have the quick release on there. That feature on it, I do like. It is small. It is definitely smaller than the Fuller Fulmer one. So you're not going to sweat as much because it's just less helmet. It's lighter. It doesn't. It really doesn't catch the wind at all. And you know how someone can catch the wind and pull back like this. Yeah, the Fulmer does it a little bit. The Crazy Owls doesn't doesn't really do that. It does ride pretty close and tight to your head. So, good helmet, worth a hundred. I don't know about that. You make the call on that. But I enjoy it. I'll use it. I'll be using it again this summer. And it, you can see it's got some miles. It's got some wear and tear, and it's got some distance on it. The Fulmer does also. Both helmets like them both. So, y'all make the call. All right, Yogi Clan. Here's your product review Thursday. I hope you have a blessed week, and I will talk to you soon. Remember to like, subscribe, share, notify, tell your grandma, tell your grandpa, tell your cousin, let your dog, let your cat watch. All right, y'all. Peace.